Kita sa kamera ang SMNI tungkol sa report nila ng travel expense ni House Speaker Martin Romualdez. Git ng kamera, fake news ito. Pero depensa ng SMNI, nagtatanong lang naman sila. Nasa frontline ng balitang yan, si Marian Enriquez. Ang SMNI episode na ito na may patanong na pamagat na Speaker Romualdez inabot ng 1.8 billion pesos ang travel expense ang naging sentro ng pagdinig kanina ng House Committee on Legislative Franchises tungkol sa umunay fake news ng SMNI. Pinunayan ni Quezon Representative J.J. Suarez ang idinepensa ng legal officer ng istasyong pag-aari ng Suarez Sub Media Corporation. Walang fake news at nagtatanong lang naman daw ang anchor ng programa. There was no allegations uh, about the 1.8 million a billion pesos, Mr. Chair. It was just a question, given not in behalf of SMNI, but given about it is a statement by an anchor of SMNI, and there is a disclaimer in every program of SMNI that any statement made by the anchor guest is not the official stand of SMNI. Second, Mr. Chair, there was no deliberate false uh, information. Pero hindi yan bumenta kay Congressman Suarez. A question, attorney, is this. Um, Congressman Joboy, what color is your baron? That is a question. But when you say on live TV... Meron po kaming natanggap na balita. Ang speaker ay gumastos ng 1.8 billion pesos sa traveling. Hindi lang yun. Baka madagdagan pa yan kung isasama yung entrance. Baka umabot pa ng 2 billion. Dinagdagan pa. At sinabi, how do you spend 1.8 billion pesos? Umuwi pa ba siya sa bahay? That's not a question, attorney. Uh, that is, at the very least, malicious innuendo. At the very least. But from, my, from where I'm standing, that is a direct accusation to the House of Representatives. We cannot dictate on our anchors what questions to ask, how to ask it, when to ask it. In the same manner, if there are guests there, we cannot also tell the guests to answer this way or that way. They exercise a certain degree of independence. Pagdidiin naman ng mga kongresista, hindi rin pwedeng sabihin ng SMNI na protektado sila sa kanilang disclaimer dahil nasasaad sa Section 4 ng kanilang prangkisa o RA 11422 na hindi dapat hayaan ng franchise holder na magamit ang kanilang mga pasilidad sa pag ere ng mga indecent language o pagkakalat ng deliberately false information o willful misrepresentation. If you can prove that the 1.8 billion pesos is true, I'll resign. But if I can prove that the 1.8 billion that your program said is false, lagay nyo dito yung prangkisa nyo on the line. Pahe ka? Uh, Mr. Chair, if I may. De, yes or no? Uh, I cannot answer that, Mr. Chair. I'm just a lawyer. That's not part of my authority. Paglilinaw ng House Secretary General, hindi 1.8 billion pesos, kundi 4.347 million pesos ang travel expenses ng opisina ni House Speaker Martin Romualdez mula Enero hanggang Oktubre ngayong taon. Kung gastos naman ng buong kamara ang sisilipin, aabot lang ito sa mahigit 39 million pesos. Humarap din sa pagdinig ang angkor na si Ka Eric Zelis. Giit niya, dalawa ang kanyang source tungkol sa travel fund ni Romualdez. Pero kalaunan, inamin din niyang nagkamali sila at hindi nakumpirma ang impormasyon sa kamera. Are you willing to recant your uh, statements and apologize to Congress? If that will uh, heal the wound of the degree of an amount of insult uh, that was forwarded to Congress, kung ganun pong epekto niyan, uh, wala pong problema sa akin personally yon. Sabi naman ng legal counsel ng Suara Sub Media Corporation. Pero feeling namin, parang nilalagyan kami ng busal dito. 